My name is Tuli. Well, I live in Wintook, but I was born in a refugee camp in Angola, in Kwanzaa Sioux. And I spent most of my childhood in the Nyango refugee camp in Zambia. The work on the canvas and the work, the performance work, are very much intertwined in the sense that sometimes, or a lot of times, what I put on canvas always flows into performance art. And what I do on the canvas is that I use mahangu, which is a staple, um, I would say, a staple food that we eat in the northern part of Namibia. I use that a lot in my work as, as a base to, to create the textures on the canvases. And then I fuse that with the, uh, with the resin. And on top of that mahangu, I transfer the images on top of that. And I use a lot of the archival images from the National Archives of Namibia or from my own personal archives and I try to combine the pictures and to create my own narratives. The women that work the land and that cultivate, they plant the mahangu and they harvest the mahangu and they pound the mahangu so we can have the flour or the meal to make the mahangu porridge that nourish us. That kind of transform into the performance side of things where I would refer to the time when the Awambo girls will go through a coming of age ceremony where they have to dress up in these costumes. There are little girls called their Umfundisi and the girls will carry these baskets filled with ash to look like ghosts. Oihan Angola literally means the white things and that is the reason why I put a lot of ash on my, on my body and to kind of imitate the costume itself. I start off with a fresh canvas, which I prime with acrylic paint. And then af after that, I put on resin and then on top of the resin, I sprinkle the mahangu meal. And the reason why I have the resin on there is to capture the mahangu meal so that it's permanently infused onto the canvas. So after that, then I will take the archival images. I will transfer the images on top of the canvases. Once that is um, dry and it's uh, revealed, and that's when I, I will use like acrylic inks or permanent markers to draw sometimes feathers or plants on top of that and then it just evolved into completely new art piece. 